Uh, sure. Yeah, I thought it was a um, hard-fought match, and I'm glad we were able to grind it out in the end and uh, you know, move on with a, get over another hump with our program and into a national championship match for Saturday. Questions for the student athletes? I just remember going in, and I just I, I knew we had to turn some points on defense. So I just I made sure that I was going to be up big as much as I, as much as I could, and I just did what I what I normally do every day in practice, and I you know, just locked up, locked up basically. Uh, it means a ton to me, but um, I just think it's so great for this team because um, I've never been a part of something like this where like. Each guy, I mean, number one to number 27 works just as hard as the next, knows their role. And I mean, it's just, it's like, it's so cool to be a part of. And um, we're definitely not happy though. Like we have work, we have work to do, we got practice tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, it means a ton just to everyone. It's great for the program, um, especially that we're hosting. It's just, um, I mean, we're, we're really happy tonight, but tomorrow we have practice, we have more work to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Hey. It was up and down for a long time. They, uh, you got to give them a ton of credit. They're, I thought their serving was incredible, and uh, our video didn't do them justice. I mean, even their float servers were getting us out of system. And Aaron Russell and uh, Goodell were just pounding the ball from the service line. So uh, you got to give a ton of credit to them and what they did from the service line in their first contact. And we have to clean up our first contact too. Thomas, can you talk a little bit, or and Nick as well, can you talk a little bit about the crowd tonight and how, you know, 4,000 screaming loyal of fans at 11 o'clock at night helped you? It was amazing. Greatest feeling I've ever had in my life. I just remember coming out of the fifth set out of one of the timeouts and just, like, looking up into, the, like, the stands and just feeling everyone yelling, and it was just absolutely incredible. Yeah, it was definitely overwhelming. I remember the same moment. Uh, I know exactly what I was talking about. Everyone went nuts, and... Um, it's just like it's just so great to be able to play here and be able to do this for our fans, and uh, that was that was awesome. And Thomas, jumping out to talk about the first game, you know, you guys seem to be clicking on offense. How important was that, not only for the team to be on offense, but for you to be clean away, you know, five six kills in a match just to get your offensive rhythm going? Um, it was nice. You got to give a ton of credit to Hutz, though. I mean, I just I just jump. That's all I do. He he has to put the ball in the right spot, and we run a pretty fast offense comparatively to everyone else, and. Uh, so, I mean, that's all Hutz. He does a great job, and uh, he knows where to put the ball, when to put it there. And, uh, I mean, what I do is the easy part. He just, Hutz has the hard job. So, it's, it's all Peter Hutz. How do you guys feel that being in, this, being in a similar situation last year, making it to the quarterfinals, how do you think that prepared you guys to kind of grind out this win this year? Um, I felt like we're mentally we're in a, a much better spot than last year, you know, coming in with uh, – with a with a bye and then being in being in this moment at the same time, but I felt like our play didn't necessarily demonstrate that. Um, I felt like we were a little passive in a lot of our areas, uh, especially our serving. Uh, serve receive was a little uh, shaky at a lot of the times, and those are two things that we take a lot of pride in that we've done really really well all the year. So, you know, I think mentally we weren't as great as maybe I thought we were going to be, and I think it just shows, you know, one set hitting 400, the next set hitting 100, then 21 service errors for tonight. So, um, and a lot of those in the net or just easy rollers out of bounds. So, it's definitely uh, on Saturday, we definitely need to work on our serving and stay aggressive uh, against Stanford or we're going to be in a lot of trouble. It's huge, especially for the program. I mean, we work. Day one, we set out this goal, and you know we're just one step closer now. We got, you know, a good Stanford team on Saturday. We're really gonna have to, you know, pull our stuff together and play well. Anything else from the student athletes? Yeah, Tom. Uh, take 24 kills for your high. What other than the student athletes got in your situation? It was just um, I, I connect really well with Huts. Uh, we're super good friends off the court, and um, I just 
I just know when he's going to set me. Um, I, I just know where he's going to put it, and I, I just think that was it. Um, we haven't really gone five in a long time, so I think that was the biggest part. Um, he just he distributes the ball well, and I, I mean, yeah, I got some kills, but he, he puts the ball in the right spot. I think that's the biggest thing for me. I, I don't really do a lot. It's all it's all that's. No, we do that every day in practice. It's the last thing we do, game five. So we were, we, we were fine. We were, we were good. Yeah, exactly what he said. We do that every day in practice. And you know, there's no doubt in our mind that we're winning every set. And if, we, if somehow we lose, we're winning the next one. Anything else for the student athletes? Sure, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Questions for Coach. All right. Um, Come on, Lee. Coach, just ask, you know, when you have a match like this, when you have 20 plus um, service errors, you know, as a coach, do you, midway through the match, try to change, want to change things up in terms of how players are serving ground some players, or do you just kind of keep them going? I want them to hit it a little bit harder. You know, all of our misses were just the passive ones. Um, and some guys were trying to struggle through it, and you know normally they do a pretty good job of I'm okay if they miss long. If it's long and hard, that's fine. Just be very aggressive, and um, you know some guys just didn't make that transition tonight. So, uh, but we're always been good uh, with a poor serving night and the following match having a, a pretty good serving night. So I have confidence that our guys will be ready to go. Yeah, no, it felt like that fifth set, like you said earlier, like nobody wanted to win it. Everyone was just kind of afraid to make a, a mistake, and that just kind of became a passive game with a, a lot of swings and nobody wanting to kill the ball. But it's a very emotional match up and down, uh, playing well and playing poorly. And I think we were a little bit more fatigued, and especially into that fifth set. Um, but uh, very happy the crowd got us going and I think pushed us over the edge in that fifth set. But. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, first thing I tell the guys when you get in the locker room is congratulations. You've put the program where it's ever been. We continue to get better year after year. And um, so, you know, it was all cheers and excitement in the locker room. And it, I don't have to tell them that they had 21 service errors and that we barely snuck, a, snuck that win out of Penn State. So they know that they didn't play their best and they know that they got to get a lot better for Saturday.